Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Blood Omen 2, The Legacy of Cain, is playable with Dolphin within Retroarch. It's always a good sign. Indeed, when it boots. I could have actually tried this on PS2. But this is the version I own, so... I don't really know how it is I'm going to, um... Like, cover... The multiplat games. Like, whether... I mean... I see it as probably being a good idea to cover them both. Yeah, so like covering the PS2 version and then the GameCube version or whatever. Vice versa. Because there are games that work on PS2 that don't work on GameCube, and there's games that work on GameCube that don't work on PS2. Such as Need for Speed Underground and uh, Spider-Man 2 are two examples I can think of, or that I know of. New game. Assisted. Makes it real easy. 400 years after the nobleman Kate was cursed to walk the night as a vampire. Centuries before Kane would rule the wasteland of Nosgoth with his lieutenant Raziel. Yeah, the storyline for the legacy of Kane is weird. Actually, no, it isn't. It starts with it's Blood Omen 1, then 2, then Soul Reaver 1 and 2, then Defiance. I'm pretty sure. From the shards of tattered dreams I rose, unwilling, tossed upon tides of pain that flowed and ebbed and left me searingly awake, and more revoltingly alive. There was some weird screen tearing. Then I saw her for the first time. Good evening. We did not expect you to. Yeah, yeah. Chapter one: The Slums. Yeah, it either goes Blood Omen 1, 2, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, then Defiance, or it's Blood Omen, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, Blood Omen 2, and then Defiance. But I don't see that as being likely. In which case, the storyline is fairly logical. Is she talking? No. When I glow white is when she's talking to me. Okay. Like that. Is that to walk or run? No, I can actually use it to, to walk. I have no health. Holy crap. Where do we go? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I do. And there she goes. Oh, press the A button to jump. Was that supposed to look like that? It looked like it had a crack through it. Excellent. Know that you also have the ability to float. When you are on a ledge, 
situations such as this one, you may land silently and carefully by floating down. This will be important when I train you to kill. Now, follow me. She would discover I needed little training in how to kill. <laughs> it comes naturally. We. Where I go? Oh, there we go. Made it. Press so B to pull the lever. Oh, there she is. I think this is where we do combat. Pretty sure. I don't really understand why she did a backflip. Hmm. Mm, it's not where we do combat. Crap. We do combat somewhere, but I don't remember where. Is this where we learn about water? The city is a labyrinth. All the better for a hunting ground. Tell me, Cain. Are you hungry? Yes. I have a prisoner waiting for you down below. A thug from a local gang of criminals. He sought to murder yet another helpless victim, but he met me instead. Spare me the moral anecdote and direct me to his throat. <laughs> Drink then. I will be waiting below. God, I love this game. Series. They're just so good. And the writing is just very good. How do you... Oh, it's Y. Wrong button. Blah, 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 blah. Yay! Did I power up? I nope. See you are restored. I am. Blood is your life. Without it, you will die. If you are wounded, seek out blood to restore your vitality. You must know too that by drinking the blood of others, you will gradually become stronger and harder to kill. We call this a vampire's law. The more creatures you drink from, the more lore you will gain, and the greater your health will become. Leave no enemy alive, Cain. You will need their blood and their lore to survive. Now, let us continue. Yes, the lore is the XP, basically. Oh dear. I thought I broke the game. Oof. Oh, there we go. Lock on victims. Wrong button. Oh no, I do, I just... I do have to kill you. Don't okay. You me, please. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. We're getting a little bit of XP. I think you get like two levels in this like first segment because you don't need much. Oh, wrong button. She dead? No, she is. There we go. Nice. That did not give me much of anything. Water. Though it is life giving to humans, water is deadly to vampires. Its touch burns our skin. Immersion in water can kill us. Avoid it at all costs. Also know that scattered throughout Meridian are relics of our ancestors. Useless to humans, only vampires can access these coffers and use the power within. Seek these out on your journey. Yeah, they give you a nice buff, uh, buff. A nice power up. There you go. Activate boxes. And that's another level up. There we go. That's a good enough test though. Yeah, you know, I've played for 10 minutes. The game has dipped a whole zero times. And it has been full speed the entire time. Which is pretty damn awesome. 
So I'd have to say that Blood Omen 2, The Legacy of Cain, is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.